This part work has been supplied to me free of charge from fanhome.com. Please pop along to their website and see all of the other build-up part works that they have to offer, as well as other collections of collectible things. I would like to thank Fan Home for providing me with the part work so I can produce these videos for your enjoyment and educational needs. If you'd like to build one of your own, pop along to fanhome.com. They're available in many countries worldwide. If you do want to build one, leave a note in the comments to let me know how you're getting on. And let me know how I'm getting on as well. I'd like feedback of all types. So thank you once more to Fan Home for providing me with this kit. I hope you enjoy the build. Let's get on with it. Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models. Welcome to issue 95 of building the Fast and Furious Dodge Charger, Dom's vehicle of choice. Uh, so, looking through this, we're going to be doing a bit of uh, more bodywork, uh, which is always good to get things on there. Uh, we're looking in the world of Fast and Furious, first of all, at the most spectacular gadgets. She doesn't look like a gadget to me. But, uh, yeah, they, they've got some gadgets. They do some things. Mainly it's about the cars, obviously. But there's a few things that they do. Um, ingenious devices. So, what's that? The Dodge Intrepid. That looks quite nice. It's quite a normal looking car. Happy with one of those? Yeah. Uh, so the front left wing is the part supplied today, just the wing and some screws, but we do have prom before, the uh, little indicatory uh, bits which we shall be installing, a uh, little frame lens and then the back piece, these aren't illuminated but they reflect so they look, look quite good. Uh, and then we're fitting that onto the main body chassis part, just like that with a few screws. Uh, so that's that, front left wing with the indicator and bodywork on the model. I think there's only the other panel, that's really all the bodywork to do. We've got the front, we don't have the back, we've got the boot, we've got the bonnet, but yeah, we get there. Um, making good connections in tuning, um, firmly joined together, it's going to be about screws and bolts and stuff, isn't it? There we go, and welding and things. Rivets, adhesives, don't think about cars being glued together, but some parts would be, yeah, there we go. Uh, so that is that. Let me clear this out of the way. Uh, we'll get the indicator installed and then we'll bring in the chassis itself. I shall see you very soon. So here we have the wing from this time. Uh, some screws supplied this time as well and from before. I have put aside last month, if you remember, uh, the parts from here. So this is the left front wing. So we need the bit marked L. Uh, the R we shall keep for later. Uh, these are all identical, so it doesn't matter which one's which. I'll put those aside for later. And these we shall do now. They obviously fit from the inside. We've got the flexive bit. Then that needs to be the right way up because there is a little notch. It goes on there like so. And then this piece. We'll go that way around on there and it's held in place with two CM screws. They have given us some CM screws, which is always useful. Uh, there's one and two. That side for later. Get these installed on there. So that's got to go through the plastic bit and is held in place in the metal bit if I get it in the right place. Feels like that's going in somewhere. So before I tighten that down, I'll get the other one in. Well, just like so. Then I can tighten both of them up. Like that. And then we have the indicator doing its job in there. That's sort of a stick out, which is fine, that's obviously how it's meant to be. Doesn't stick out, there's all about aerodynamic and stuff as well, isn't it? So there we have that. Uh, and then we need to bring in the car, the rest of it. We've got this here uh, and this is going to be fitted obviously onto there. Feels like that's a good fit around there. 
So uh, yeah, that is going to fit on there. And if I can actually take that off while I turn the page and make sure that I'm using the correct screws, it's going to be the other ones that they've given us, isn't it? But you know, it was nice to check. There are four FM screws to hold this in place. Uh, what have we got? Three across there and one down there. And yep, they are FM screws that they've just given me. So let's get four of those out. Two, three, four, and one spare, obviously for the next time or, you know, for never. Uh, so let's get one on the screwdriver. Good to go. We'll get that line back up where it needs to be. Fits on obviously from the side. And then there we have that. So we've got one through there. Feels like that's not going in. So something's not lined up quite right. I didn't think it could go anything other than lined up properly, but I could easily be wrong. I've been wrong before. Try that again. It doesn't feel like it's lining up with anything, so let's try a different hole just to make sure I'm not being an idiot. That feels like that's going in. So that's working there. I may have a problem with that hole, or I may just have a problem with me. Either is quite likely. Let's try a different one. Let's throw this one right down here. Theory being, if the ones on the opposite sides line up, then surely the other two would have to as well. Thought I'd drop that right in the right place, but I didn't. The trouble is the car is getting quite um, large and unwieldy. So having to hold it in place while getting everything, you know, tightened up and everything as well is not the easiest thing to do. And it's even harder to do when you're trying to think about where the camera is and what you lot can see. So I do apologise in advance as and when I stuff it up and you can't see anything. Right now. Yep, that feels like that's going into a hole. No, 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 I thought it was, but it wasn't. That feels like that is. So yes, that's that. I'll get all of those tightened up. But that is that. Now, I know Fox was having trouble with the door when he had this. So let's see. Everything works as intended. And the door clips shut as well. Doesn't catch against anything, all everything right nice and not rubbing. So hopefully that will work on the other side as well. So I'll get that tightened up and then we're almost there. Next time I think we're doing the same again on the other side. So I shall see you for that very soon. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Bye bye for now.